Hey guys, today is day 169, June the 18th, and those of you doing the one-year Bible study with us, it is 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 1 through 21, Acts chapter 12, verse 1 through 23, Psalm chapter 136, verse 1 through 26, and Proverbs chapter 17, verse 14 through 15. So we're getting pretty darn close to the end of uh, 1 Kings. Um, things aren't looking too good. Uh, you, you see what I'm talking about, how as we move into the time of Kings, you've got Saul, kind of kind of flaky, and then David. You've got that odd dynamic with them, uh, Saul being anointed and appointed, and David just being anointed and waiting. And then David takes over, and then just the sheer chaos that comes after David. Um, God ended up preserving the kingdom with uh, David because David was known as a man after God's own heart. He wasn't perfect, but uh, he strives to correct his mistakes. Um, today I want to look at uh, 1 Kings chapter 19. I want to look at verse 1 through 8. Um, 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 1 through 8. This, this story is pretty impressive. So you've got this, this king named uh, Ahab, and you've got this woman named Jezebel, and they're together. And uh, Jezebel, she doesn't like anything that's, uh, that's God. And so Ahab's following her. And uh, we, we just had this, this showdown, this, this high noon showdown uh, up on, on the mountain where um, Elijah ends up calling down fire from the Lord and uh, the, the false prophets, they couldn't do that. So all the, prophet, uh, the false prophets were destroyed. And then this flood of rain starts coming. Um, this huge, huge victory moment, this mountaintop moment. And then we run into this in verse uh, 1 through 8. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and how he killed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah, saying, So may the gods do to me ever so more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Then Elijah was afraid, and he arose and ran for his life. And he came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and he left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he asked that he might die, saying, It is enough now, Lord, take my life. I am no better than my father's. Man, that took a big turn. You see, even even though God does amazing things and, and we trust in God and believe in God, doesn't mean that sometimes fear doesn't sink in. And right here, Elijah's afraid. He's afraid of what may end up happening. And, and he's just depressed and saddened and, and disheartened. And he, he goes under this tree and... And then there's a change. Verse 5 through 8 here. And he lay down and he slept under the broom tree. And behold, an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. And he looked and behold, there at his head was a cake baked in hot stones in a jar of water. And he ate and drank and lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came again a second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, for the journey is too great for you. And he rose and he ate and drank. And he went in the strength of that food. Forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the Mount of God. When you're in the grind, which we all are, the grind of family, the grind of our job, the, the, the problems that we face each and every day, our own personal demons inside of us. The, when we're in the grind, remember, it's not just beneficial but it's essential to rest in the Lord and be fed by Him. It's essential. Take that time to rest in Him and be fed by Him. And, and I, I know you're doing that. That's, that's why you're here watching this video. But I just want to remind you, don't take that for granted. And, and don't let it just stop at a video. Uh, sometimes you need to, to retreat on your own and not have somebody teach you, but have... God speak to your heart and encourage you and feed you personally and give you rest personally. And I just want to encourage you with that today. Be sure that in the grind, you don't forget 
you have to be fed. You have to be rested. Otherwise, you can't do much good. Take care of yourselves, guys.